everybody welcome back here i have another time lapse painting video this one is a watercolor and it's done in my sketchbook because i'm trying to fill up my sketchbook i have one that i did finish and i am going to do a sketchbook tour on that one this piece that i'm doing i'm working on believe it or not i did this before black panther so I know she's a bald head, so people probably will associate this with uh, Dora Majala. Majale, Dora Majale. I think that's what they were called. The soldiers, the female soldiers in the movie Black Panther. Um, but it actually was not. It was actually a commission, and this was the concept. She wanted, she's a natural hairstylist, but she also services women who have hair loss, um, suffer from alopecia. So she wanted a woman who was bald head to, for me to paint that type of mural on her wall. And she wanted a man because she also services men who get their hair locked or cornrows and things like that. And then there was just a painting I did for natural hair and another one for a woman with locks. I did not record those. I wish I had though. But I did record these two, and I do believe in this video, you might see a sneak peek of the concept drawings I did for the other two images. I can't remember. I'll try to remember though, hopefully when I'm doing this voiceover, to actually put a picture of those images in here, just in case I did not show you in the video. Anyway, um, yeah, this was the commission. So I did actually do a mural installation on her walls in her salon suite. And the reason why I kind of convinced her to do an installation because she was spending a lot of money, guys. I mean, like a whole lot of money. And it's like, you don't own the space, you rent it. And it's not like it's a long-term thing, like an actual salon, salon where you have like a 10 year lease or something. This is just a space where you can go in the next 30 days or whatever, if you choose to. I mean, she, is definitely there for a while. She plans to be there for a while, but um, you just never know. I mean, life can have some unexpected changes and that's just, like I said, a lot of money for a new business to be investing into artwork that if it's on the walls permanently, you leave, your work can't come with you. Someone else can enjoy the fruits of your labor and or even worse, paint over it. Cause I know I definitely would not even getting paid the amount of money I got paid. I would hate to see the artwork that I created get painted over. So yeah, that's what this is, the concept for that. So the male picture that you see sketched there beside her, she actually did not go with that one. She went with something a little bit more traditional with wild locks and long loose hair and all that she <laughs> and i think i might even have a picture of what i did with him up on the wall i know i did him digitally on my phone so i don't have an actual photo of that because i accidentally deleted it so yeah but the finished product i do have a picture of on her wall and she calls him her black jesus <laughs> uh, she's like he look like the black messiah <laughs> But anyway, this is just a watercolor. I used the Jane Davenport palettes, both the neutral and the brights, and I absolutely love them. You guys, I find myself reaching for those so much between that and my gouache. But I'm telling you, I love, 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 love them. I did not think that they would be something that I would enjoy as much as I do, but they, I've spent some good money on watercolor palettes because I prefer palettes over the tubes I know they have some tubes out there that are really amazing like the Daniel Smith ones I hear great things about those but because I mostly do oils as my main medium to work on the watercolor palettes I just felt like let me get something that's in between artists and student grade <laughs> or high end and low end more so and see if that'll work and I thought these were going to honestly, I was like prepared to hold on to my receipt thinking that these could possibly end up being low end, chalky, you know, like the artist loft ones that everyone loves because they have all those amazing sorted colors. You either love them or you hate them, you know, <laughs> I can work them. But now that I've gotten accustomed to 
really nice watercolors i do when i go back to them kind of feel like meh you know but they do have some cool colors in there that you just don't see in your traditional palettes but anyway jane diamondport has the brights and it has some beautiful pigmented colors in it and so are her neutral palettes so that's what i'm using here the entire time other than when you see me go into any type of metallic gold then i'm using the um the uh oh what are the name of those paints i'm not near them i'm doing my voiceover in the bed <laughs> so i can't grab them i mean, i guess i could get up and grab them but that's too much like white so i'll put that in the description box below if i remember but i talked about them in other videos they're the god what are they it's a pearlescent palette that you can buy and comes with all different color metallic pearl watercolors um i know you guys have heard of them but anyway that's what i'm using other than the jane davenport uh colors and i i didn't even have to use like my um india inks for the black because i usually use the india ink to do like the the eyelashes and the brows and if I want them to have dark eyes their eyes anything that has anything to do with really 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 pigmented black I used the Jane Davenport that's just how good it was so I'm really happy with that so if you were looking at those or thinking about buying them I definitely recommend them I mean I like them so yeah um but that's it guys I'm going to stop here as far as my talking and just let you just enjoy the rest of the video. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hey, and definitely check out some of my other videos and share if you can. That would be greatly appreciated. It helps out my channel a lot. Also check out my Patreon page. I have some amazing rewards at all the different tiers from $1 to $200, whatever your budget can afford. You know, you just gotta skip out maybe on that latte for a month. You know, once a month, make your coffee at home or drink water all day. I don't know what is good for your body, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe support me on Patreon. And like I said, you get great rewards and they're always ever changing. I'm always thinking of new ways to really um, do some nice things for my supporters. And yeah, that is it. And I will talk to you later. And can you believe it? I This is like my second upload in a month. <laughs> so I'm on a roll. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game. Have, have this stuff already ready to go out. Scheduled to, you know, drop. So yeah. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.